What is up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's Boy Rush, back at it again. Today's video, I finally have all three of my cars back in the garage here, as you can see. The Boss Zero 2, the Whipple Mustang, and then side boot the daily driver chilling right outside now one thing all my cars are dirty at the moment the boss has been getting a lot of action i haven't had time to really wash it and detail it and this car has been sitting at the shop and it's very dirty as you can see there uh quite a bit of dirt on it black car problems but um she's back and now we have that 10 rib which looks amazing shout out to whipple and uh, shout out to voodoo for uh, taking care of me as always uh, now the car just needs a fuel system and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Should get that tomorrow. And uh, then uh, we're uh, ready to party and see what she can do. Hopefully I'm shooting for, you know, 800, 850 wheel horsepower. I think that will be the uh, the case once the fuel system is in there. And uh, the boss has been running pretty good. I'm going to see if I can take it to the track this weekend. Uh, hopefully head up Irwindale, you know, get some... Uh, eighth mile time see how she does be her, my first time out in it at the track so very very excited and uh we'll see how it goes but right now i gotta take the wooden one stand put her on the driveway and get to cleaning it because it is so dirty and i have a car meet tonight that i want to take the car out to so here we go Alrighty guys, quick wash and we are good to go. Car's looking super clean. I haven't detailed the wheels yet. I'm gonna do those in a second. Just gonna wipe them down, but the rest of the car is a pretty good. Tried most of it off. There's a little bit more that I gotta do. Uh, second pass, but she's looking very good. As you can see there, paint is still in pretty good shape. Uh, I never got a ceramic coated because I thought about wrapping it and they said if you wanna wrap it, you don't need a ceramic coated because it will not let the vinyl adhere to the car properly. So I kinda just left we kept my options open and never really got this thing ceramic coated but i'm considering it only thing is i do think about wrapping it too so i'm a little on the fence right now but um now that this car is done uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the the rest of it real quick pull it inside and then get the boss out here and wash that real quick just so that it's ready to go next time i want to take it out so uh, yeah here we go i'm just gonna wrap this up and then put this car back inside So we got the Whipple back in the garage. Now the fun part is getting the boss out of here because this thing does not like cold starts. So uh, wish me luck, here we go. wrapped up watching the boss and go ahead and pull in the garage real quick and uh, I need to talk to you guys about a few things so here we go
Okay, so we got both the cars back in the garage, nice and clean. Feels so good when your cars are just nice and cleaned up. Now that we do have the car back in here, uh, there's something I kind of want to talk about and that has to do with the boss. So lately a lot of people have been telling me to get rid of the boss. Um, there's a lot of confusion as to why I bought this car, you know, what, what its purpose is on the channel um, since I already had a boosted Mustang. and. Um, I feel like I need to address that in this video and kind of just really shed some light on to why I really ended up buying this car. So here it goes. Um, when I was looking to buy a, another car, uh, one thing that I've always wanted was to experience twin turbos. And that's exactly what this car had. Now in order to do a twin turbo setup like this on this car it would cost me a whole lot more money. And here's why. This car has, um, you know, the, it has everything sorted out. So, you know, it, it, it can handle the power that it's making. It has got a built motor, built transmission. Uh, it's got the turbos on it, and it's really got the roll cage. You know, it's, it's got pretty much everything you really need to go out there and go fast and have fun and not have to worry about breaking stuff. Uh, unfortunately, the old owner built it up to this degree, um, put a thousand miles on it, pretty much like a break in miles on the, the new setup, which is a bigger turbos and a built motor, and ended up selling it because he had to buy a house. So I got lucky, grabbed it at a great deal, and I couldn't resist. I really wanted this from the start. I wanted to go on with the Whipple because I wanted the car legal setup. I wanted something safe to drive around the streets. And this kind of became the street car. So that's exactly what this is. This is going to be my, you know, drag car. The car I take to the drag strip. I take to events um, and, and kind of run it hard and, you know, chase times with it, see what I can do. Uh, it's a six speed. It's got a TR6060 from a GT500 that's been built. Um, so it can handle the abuse that I can throw at it. That car is good for the street, but it's not good for the drag strip. Um, it, it's just gonna need a lot of work to be able to perform well on the drag strip, given that it has an MT82. It's making a lot of power, doesn't have a built motor, doesn't have any suspension work, doesn't have drag radials, doesn't have anything for the strip. So, you know, we could get it to that point. It's gonna cost a lot of money and then it's not gonna be fun on the street anymore when it has all those goodies because it's gonna be kind of set up for drag. So that car is gonna be kind of my street car, roll car. This would be kind of my dig slash, um, you know, street, uh, it's drag strip car. But a lot of people would tell me to get rid of this car. You guys want to see something different. And because I want to, you know, make every, sure that everyone stays happy on the channel, you know, the Mopar fans really helped us a lot to get to this point. So did, you know, the Ford uh, fans that enjoy watching the Mustangs. So I got to kind of keep it fair. And in order to do that, I want to get a new car. And, you know, people tell me to get rid of this car and I, started entertaining the idea of getting rid of this car. I know I don't have it for that long. I wish I could keep it longer, but I gotta do what's right for the channel, what's right for me. And I really think getting a Trackhawk would be like an, a dope upgrade for the channel. Um, it'd be a lot of fun because we can tow that car around. We can do a lot of cool stuff with a Trackhawk. And also I could technically <laughs> take it on the drag strip because it is all wheel drive. So it'd be kind of cool building that up as well. So the idea is I get rid of the Boss 02 and side go out there and end up getting a track hawk a black track hawk with yellow brakes to match the you know the whipple mustang and i think that would be a very fun little kind of combination it'll keep everybody happy the mopar fans because it has a hellcat motor in it um and the ford fans we have the whipple mustang so we'll be building both of them and having fun with it and yeah so that's something i'm entertaining it's an idea that i'm thinking i'm going to do but first i need to get this car sold and side view out there and in order to do that i need your guys's help so if you are interested in buying either one of the cars hit me up this thing has already gone up for sale i took some pictures of it listed everything that's done to it there's a ton of work ton of stuff this is a serious serious build right here and that's really the reason that i jumped on it, it comes with two sets of wheels and tires uh all the a lot of original parts that were on the car it's got a roll cage built motor built tr6060 transmission um e-boost 2 controller precision 64 66 gen 2 turbos on it uh engine is, is built forged to handle up to 32 pounds of boost so this thing is no joke and for the right buyer it's an absolute steal given everything that's gone into it i am negotiable i'm willing to work with you guys um and, and as long as i get it sold on a timely fashion so I can continue getting what I need for the channel, which is a track hawk. So anyways, that's the latest update. That's all I have to say today. And uh, I'd love for one of you guys to take it because it really is a badass car. And I know someone can do some great things with this Boss 302. Uh, it only has 16,000 miles, so very low miles, very well taken care of. It's a garage queen, uh, you know, doesn't really see the outside much. It's always a hidden, always 
kept in really good shape. So anyways, uh, that's it for this video. A little bit of an update for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new around here, make sure you drop a like, subscribe with the notification bell and so you're notified when I do post. It's your boy Rush and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.